I recently uploaded a video about Doha Metro. One thing about the Metro system that stood out when I was filming was the stunningly beautiful design. And when I mean design, I'm not talking about engineering. When it comes to infrastructure, art and aesthetics are often considered last or as an afterthought. But visual appeal can be very important we are drawn to beauty and we often seek it out. In this video, I'm going to show and talk about some of the fascinating and beautiful design elements of the Doha Metro in Qatar. Doha Metro is Qatar's new metro system. Starting construction in 2013, it opened to the public in 2019. It consists of three different train lines along 37 stations, covering the far reaches of the Doha metropolitan area. The Doha Metro is a top of the line world-class transit system but I believe its artistic design is what makes it unique and memorable. The architectural design of Doha Metro was led by UN Studio and the Qatar Rail Architecture Department. The selection of the final design was personally done by the Emir of Qatar. The Emir is the most powerful person in the country. With the selection of this design, there has been a heavy emphasis on the two themes of modernization and preservation. There needed to be a way to bridge the past and future of Qatar. So what are some of the highlights of how this design achieves that? One of the first impressions is the view of the stations themselves. Many of the stations incorporate design elements of ancient Islamic architecture. The arches relied on heavily and can be seen from the exterior and the interior. The use of the arch goes back to early Islamic culture there are many examples of it throughout history. Another common design feature is the tent style roof and awnings. Bedouin tents are one of the earliest forms of shelter known in the region. Designed to protect travelers from the weather, they can be quickly moved and set up when needed. Unlike the car dominated infrastructure commonly found in Qatar, the Doha Metro was designed for pedestrians. This is achieved by focusing on creating a pleasing place for people. Sticking to the theme of drawing from historical culture, the metro stations themselves are inspired by caravanserai. Caravanserai are often described as ancient roadside inns located on major trade routes. They provide a safe haven for caravans from bandits and the harsh weather. By providing protection and comfort to these travelers, it made it easier for the caravanserai to be a place for social interaction. To me, it's a fitting inspiration for a modern metro station in Qatar. These stations can be thought of as a modern caravanserai within the Doha Metro system. You may also notice a very distinct pattern of lights. The Metro system incorporates 20,000 meters of light lines and 25,000 luminaires. It uses up-to-date LED lighting technology with dust, humidity, and impact protection. This custom designed light source twists and bend to create these patterns. The light lines are intended to help you find a way in the Metro system. Although there are wayfinding signs, the lighting pops out and immediately catches your eye. On the concourse and platform levels, a flower design inhabits the ceiling, while on the lower levels, a square design is used to create a feeling of daylight. But looking more closely behind the light lines, the material used was designed to resemble that of an oyster and pearl. Before the extraction of oil from the large oil reserves in the Gulf region in the 1950s, pearls were the main commodity. Pearl diving is one of the oldest professions in the Gulf region, and the pearl divers of Qatar went through extraordinary challenges to extract pearls. Divers would dive at a depth of over 100 feet and were quickly pulled up using rope. From this method, they were able to maximize their time spent underwater looking for pearls. Recognizing the important role that pearl and pearl divers played in Qatar's history, this design celebrates it and serves as a reminder of the region before the oil era. In addition, large windows are installed to let in natural light to illuminate this decorated interior. Not only are inspirational design elements limited to the station, effort was put into the trains themselves. For example, the train took inspiration from the Arabian mare. Many would say that this breed is powerful, yet also slender and elegant. Wanting to mimic these same characteristics in the trains themselves, the front of the train was designed with such features in mind. The windows were also specifically shaped to resemble the eyes of the mare. It's rare to find to this degree such a unified artistic touch in transportation infrastructure. Not only do these designs serve as strong cultural symbols and are aesthetically pleasing, they also serve a functional purpose. Good design needs purpose and intent. It wasn't hard for me to find a lot of it here. For me, I'm beginning to realize how important art can be in infrastructure. The transportation experience can be more enjoyable while celebrating and preserving a culture. We can only hope that more transportation infrastructure is designed in the future with the care and effort that was shown with the Doha Metro. My name is Byron. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.